All right, I think we have to be really careful in situations like this to think of what is going to cure this situation. Now, I know I have a response here and I wanted to film a longer video on this to explain this. So when we have ligamentous instability, at the end of the day, a lot of these things where there are injuries, I don't know if we would call them a cure. Can we improve stability? Yes. Can we improve pain and function? Yes. Is it a cure? I don't know. There are, a cure implies that it is never going to come back, and I don't think that's something that we can uh, accurately predict. Maybe, you know, if you think of like in the cancer world, like we think of remission and things like that, where there's no traces of it, but does that mean cured and can never come back? A lot of the times, I, I don't know the answer to that. And so the thing to uh, really stress here is that we do have good treatment options for ligamentous instability, whether it is from Ehlers-Danlos syndrome, whether it's from traumatic injuries, whether it's from chronic repetitive overuse or targeted injections with, in our practice, PRP and stem cell therapy. Prolotherapy works, but it just takes way too many treatments in, in our experience, and so we bump it up to something like PRP. Those things can be really helpful and can work. If we want to call it a cure, I, I don't know if that's appropriate to call it a cure, um, because I think that sets up the expectation that if pain ever comes back, that the treatment didn't work, and that's just not the case.